Maile called a high-level meeting with senior Tane members to explain the provincial government's decision to dissolve the Tswane municipality and place it under administration. The city is expected to have by-elections in three months. SABC News reporter Sipo Stierman has been following this story and spoke uh, to the Gauteng Cooperative uh, MEC. MC Alebuhe Maile here in Swane House are meeting with senior manager for Swane Metro following uh, that announcement uh, that uh, the Swane Metro will be put under administration and uh, council uh, dissolved. MC, thank you very much for your time this morning. Welcome to SABC News. Now talk to us about uh, this meeting uh, with the senior Swane officials. What are you trying to accomplish with this meeting? Well, as you know, there's a din days breather for the municipality because we have written to Minister Sazana Dlamini Zuma and the NCOP the legislature, we even wrote to Salga, after which they would have to concur with the decision or not concur. So between now and then, there's a lot of preparation we have to do, and we must speak to all the stakeholders. These are some of the stakeholders that are here, uh, the senior managers, because we have to produce a plan of implementation, a plan of action uh, to deal with service delivery. We can't do that without engaging the necessary and relevant uh, stakeholders. So this meeting is about that. Uh, you had mentioned that uh, you also want to talk to the managers to not be involved in the political issues. Talk to us about that. Yeah, certainly we are here to uh, uh, urge the managers not to take any political sides because they are here to serve the people of Tswani. Uh, they are here as uh, 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 bureaucrats and public servants and therefore um, they must uh, concern themselves with service delivery and nothing else. And we will also never um, ask them to take any side because that will be unfair. All we want of them is to deliver services. And now let's talk about the, uh, the administrators. Uh, have you identified the potential people? Are we going to have one administrator or are we going to have a variety of administrators overseeing certain departments here in Swan? We will, we're looking at uh, bringing more people because of the magnitude of the problem. And, and one overall coordinator. And the process has started. We are obviously looking at the CVs of people and uh, looking at what uh, skills are needed here so that we don't just bring people for its own sake. Uh, if you need engineers, uh, you can't bring soccer players. You must bring engineers. And that's what we want to do. So once we have finished uh, that process and we have blended the team well, we will make an announcement. But we don't want to make an announcement about the people only. We also want to make an announcement about the plan of action in terms of what will happen. And just for the last, I know you have to go back to this uh, particular meeting. Uh, the party that has been leading uh, Tswane, that is the TA, uh, has been very vocal saying that uh, it, it, it believes that it has a strong legal case and that uh, it might challenge this decision and take it uh, to court. And that as far as I am concerned, they are still the governing party in Tswane. Yes, like I said, they've got 14 days, and that's why they can call a council meeting to hug each other, wipe each other's tears, whatever that they're going to do. There's, there's nothing wrong with it. And if they want to go to court, they can go to court. Uh, we will meet them in court. We told them on Wednesday that we are ready for court because we believe we've got a solid case. As the COCTA MEC, I mean, you are responsible for all the parties that are in, in council uh, running Metro. Should you not have perhaps uh, tried to sort of uh, have a, a sort of a working relations with the DA itself to show, to make sure that you bring them in as you we move forward uh, for Tuani? Well, we, we, we have. We have tried on several occasions. We, I even came here at some point to meet all whips of political parties. The DA was not there. Uh, we, we had other parties, uh, it was not there. So we don't have a problem of extending a hand. Um, we understand our responsibility as government. We must serve all the people irrespective of their political affiliations and interests. So we are not confused, we are clear. All right, thank you very much. Thank That's you. a cocktail MC in Khoteng, a little a meeting with senior Tswane officials, or rather senior Tswane uh, management officials are here to urge them not to be involved in the issues of politics as, of course, that one has been put under administration and may possibly go for by-elections. And with that, I expect to you in studio. Right, well, our reporter and Tlantla Katlan joined uh, dignitaries, including ANC Women's League president, at uh, the organization's inaugural golf day. The day's uh, program is focusing on high incidents of gender based violence and other issues affecting young women. Let's cross over live at, uh, to the Blue uh, Valley Golf Estate. 
Well, thank you so much, Studio. With us here, we have the SG uh, of the women's of the ANC's women's league, rather, who's going to.